when she went into deeper water, I did consider um, taking the sp splash and going for her. I did. Why? She's my baby. Full stop. This is Drill LB, launched on service. If you can call us on zero when you arrive on scene, please. The crew rushed to the dog's last reported position, half a mile northeast of the lifeboat station. Now on scene, over. Dog is a, a little white spaniel. Um, she is directly in line with the center chart. We'll keep a good obs and uh, do a search half a mile off. But there's no sign of the dog here. What's that there ahead? Is that those points for the word? That's a bird. That's a bird. Opposite the cenotaph, they're saying. There's people there. The crew are positioned on the port and starboard side, kneeling as high as they could to get a, as a higher view as, as possible. The sea plays tricks on your eyes. Anything catches your eye, any little glint of a colour that might not be there usually. But a dog, you can usually see their head and you can see the, 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 the well-known doggy paddle that they do. After five minutes of frantic searching, another update comes in from the Coast Guard. Well, I'll be, this is Holyhead Coast Guard. You're heading in the wrong direction. It needs to be the other direction towards the River Clued. Holyhead Coast Guard, will be? Yeah, that's all copied. We'll head over that way and continue our search over. The Coast Guard has clarified that the initial information was confused. The dog is, in fact, in the water half a mile southeast down the beach. Maintain course, we have eyes on the, uh, the dog. And its owner has been located safely on the shore. It certainly is a, a massive relief when, when you know that you're, you're not dealing with an, an additional casualty. A few hours earlier, Terry and his five-year-old Springer Spaniel, Molly, had set off on an early morning beach walk. There was a flock of seagulls, and they all rise when they see her, because they know her. <laughs> and one didn't rise because the seagull was injured. I know what she was trying to do. She was trying to rescue it and bring it back because she'd done it before. And Molly went for it, and I shouted Molly to come back, and I knew then that I'd have a problem. The general feeling was, was despair. And these two women came down, you know, one of them said to me, you're going to have to prepare yourself, you know that. I said, I know that, I understand that. It, it was an awful feeling. How do I go home without my dog? I can't. It was like leaving one of my kids there. Well, I was desperately hoping to see the lifeboat. Then when I did, uh, I was mixed feeling because I was shouting to them, she's that way, Molly's over there. OK, we'll stay on zero so you can find us on. With the new location confirmed, the crew renew their search for the dog, but they're still looking for a very small object in a large body of water. Finally, they spot something in the water ahead. Hello, buddy. Come here. She was half a mile off the beach. Come here. Hello. Hello. Although they've successfully located her, the difficulty now is getting Molly on board. I wanted to make sure that we approached as slowly as possible, not to scare the dog. This bright orange object with three brightly coloured blokes with white helmets were there to help her. Yeah, come here. Come here. It took some reassuring calls from the crew to tempt her to come towards us. What are you doing? I don't know your name. She was swimming quite calmly next to us and started to come alongside us. And at that time, we knew that she was happy for us uh, to pull her on board the lifeboat. Come here. Come here. You got her. Come on. Hello. Hello, Coast Guard. We'll all be. We now have the dog on board. Cool. Hello, I'll be. That's brilliant. Thank you. Hello. Hello. We have them Hello. We're going to the shore now, And you had a boat ride as well. The dog was brilliant, just uh, enjoying a, a trip out on the lifeboat at the time. A little bit cold, but in otherwise good spirits. The boat. OK, 
came back so slowly. It was like a funeral cortege, you know, with a coffin in the back. It was so slow. Oh, my God. I expected Molly to come back dead. Just hold on to her cough. Yeah, I've got that. But she wasn't dead. She was looking at me, sister, to say, well, come on, then. A little bit panicked. She's all right, though. She's all right. And she threw her head down the side of me neck here. And was looking at me like that, as if to say, yippee. There you go. What a Sunday morning. That feeling will stay with me for the rest of my life. It was amazing. I witnessed a story with a beginning, a middle, and a happy ending. There's not many you can say that you get a happy ending because the sea doesn't take any prisoners, does it? But I got a happy ending. I got lucky.